So let's talk about common mistakes that women make in relationship and even in marriage. It's very important for you to know this. Call all your single friends and all your married friends that are women to come and listen to this. One major mistake a lot of women make in their relationship and in their marriage is being afraid to ask for what they need. Because you are afraid of being rejected. But if you don't teach people what you need, how do they love you right? That's the reason why it looks as if your man can never change. Your man will never do this. Your man will never do that. Because you have not taught him, you have not told him what you need. Need is different from want. Want is material things. I want hair, I want gold, I want bag, I want shoe. That's want. Need is the things that are essential to you. Your mental health, your emotional health, your physical health, your financial health. That's the meaning of need. A lot of men do not know how to treat you. Not because they can't. You have not communicated what you need to them. And that is how you know that you are in a toxic relationship. When you communicate your need and the person cannot meet it. The person keep doing that thing that you don't like. Then they don't love you. Remember I said, need is not money. Need is not physical. Need is effort. I don't like this thing. You will make an effort. This is what I like. You will make an effort. You will sacrifice. Because we are coming from different background. When a man tries to satisfy his woman, she will be excited and feel love. It's called unlearning and relearning. It's called being teachable. But the biggest problem we have now as women is, what do you need? Some of you don't know what you need. You only know what you want. You want hair, you want clothes, you want bag, you want makeup, you want to travel out, you want to eat shisha, you want to eat shawarma. You know your want. What about your need? Because your need is the basic essential thing to life that keeps you alive, that keeps you going. So no matter how much want a man gives you, and he has not satisfied that need, he will always be bitter. That's the reason why when I hear people say, I want to marry a rich man. I'm going to marry a rich man. He has to be rich. Good. It's good to marry a rich man. But when you have that mindset, the only thing that this rich man can satisfy is your want. Out of fear and out of poverty and hunger, you cannot even tell him what you need. Now, you are the only one that is going to be feeding his need. And when you are feeding his need and your need is not being fed, you're going to get exhausted. That's why a lot of rich men's wives are frustrated. They are frustrated because they have everything they want, but they don't have anything they need. They can't communicate it because you have used your wants to, to, to exchange for your need. So you need to understand that need is something money cannot buy. So you need to be able to communicate that to your partner. If you have not gotten to the level whereby you cannot communicate your need, baby, this thing you're doing is getting me angry. That's a need. Baby, I don't like it when you do this thing. Oh, that's a need. Baby, this is what you would do that will make me happy. Oh, this, that's your need. Baby, this is how you touch me. Baby, baby this is how you talk to me. There's some people that don't like shouts. Don't raise your voice. I have a guy that I dated. Whenever I'm shouting, he'll be looking at me. When I'm done shouting, he'll say, baby, bring your voice down. I'll listen to you. Can you talk to me in a more quiet manner? I will pay attention more. When you're shouting, it used to sound like broken drum in my ear. What did I do? I learned how to communicate with him without shouting. I satisfied his need. If I also have a complaint, maybe I don't like it. You come back so late at night. He adjusted. He used to come back by 12. He said, coming back by 7 or 8. Even if he has to stay out late, he'll call me and say, baby, I'll be out late. Need. It makes me happy. Because I understand that somebody has prioritized me. Somebody has discipline himself to a point to want to make me happy that's the meaning of need so that is what you need to communicate in your relationship especially when you know that you're taking this relationship to the next level i've said it in a couple of my podcasts and my video the biggest problem is that a lot of you hmm, do not know when to talk a lot of women do not know where to channel their energy to many of you women are very energetic you don't know when to talk. You don't know when to shut up. When you get into a relationship, instead of you to be communicating your need, you are there having sex. 
you are there looking for who buy you hair, who buy you food, who dash you, who give you data. That's not that you want to use and be watching me, yet you're not learning anything from me. That's not that you want to use and be trolling and be catching crews, yet your relationship is dying. Relationship is where you get to go and communicate your need. This person gets to know you. You know, most times I know you would have heard this word, soulmate, soulmate, soulmate. What is soulmate? Soulmate is someone who has taken time to study you. The person knows you. Even when you're smiling, the person can see the frown in, in your face. Even when you blink your eye and say, baby, nothing. He knows that there is something. That's a soulmate. The soulmate is not spiritual. It doesn't mean that God kept one man for you, no. It simply means a man paid attention to his woman. That he can read you like a book. A woman paid attention to her man. This thing is not magic. The problem we have as Gen Z's, this generation, is the fact that we want love, but we don't want to walk. We want to be married, but yet we are single. We want to be married, but be living single life. We want to do anything we like, yet we want to be committed. It doesn't work that way. When you say you want to be with somebody, it simply means you want to go there and be explaining yourself, tell the person where you go. You will explain tire with evidence. That is relationship for you. If you know you're not ready for that, just stay single. Now, sometimes it makes me laugh when people want to single shame women or single shame men. That's the reason why people get into nonsense marriage because of this single shaming. I am not ready. I'm not ready to be telling anybody where I'm going to. I'm not ready to be explaining myself. I remember when I was dating my ex-husband, he would call me, where are you at my home? Enter the kitchen and knock pot. I will knock pot. On blender. I will on blender. Um, can you knock this spoon? I'll be knocking this. Go on one gen. I'll go on one gen at the back here just to prove that I'm at home because then there was nothing like video calls at that point. So if you're not ready to give accountability of your life, where you are going to, what you are eating, what you are swallowing, how you are dressing, then don't get married. That's what marriage is about. Then don't be in a relationship. That's what relationship is about. Relationship will be grooming you to be answering this question because you go explain tire. Your husband go explain. You wife self go explain. That is what is called dedication, accountability. We are accountable to each other. If you know you don't have power, just leave people's children alone. Don't marry them and go and suffer them. That is always my bone of contention. You people as women, if you know you're not ready to be submitting to somebody, explaining to somebody, stay in your father's house and stop constituting nuisance. Stay in your father's house, get work, build yourself. I used to say sometimes, most of these things come with age. When you get to that level of age where you want to be submissive, you are the one that know that, okay, I am ready now, my head don't cool down. You get some women where their head, they hot. Go and cool down first. Because if you carry that hotness, enter man house. You go burn house. So I used to tell a lot of women, take your time. Don't be in a hurry. So that when you get into... Marriage is work. Oh. Relationship is even work. Sometimes when I'm in a relationship, I'll tell myself, I never even marry this person. This kind of stress. If I can't marry you, uncle, now die. It's a stressful thing because relationship is like um, primary school. Marriage is like secondary school entering um, university. It's a whole lot of work. So you need to be mature mentally. We have not even talked about children. So we are talking about your husband, a full-grown man. We are talking about your wife, a full-grown woman. We have not talked about children that do not know anything. Because this patience we are talking about, you be patient with your children, be patient with everybody. So my point is, guys, we need to really calm down. We really need to calm down and have an understanding that marriage is sweet or relationship is sweet. But you first of all need to understand what you they go do for dear. Learn to communicate your need. Tell your man what you want. Tell him where to touch you. A lot of women say, oh, I'm not, I don't, I don't orgasm. I don't enjoy sex. Tell the man where to touch you. You don't enjoy your man touching you during sexual intercourse. But whenever you touch yourself, you used to come. Now that place that you used to touch yourself, that you used to come, communicate it to your husband so that he can satisfy you. That is what it is. Know yourself to the point that you can teach people how to know you and how to love you. It makes it easier. For some of you, you don't know yourself. The only thing you know is Brazilian hair. The only thing you know is handbag, data, 2K, 3K. That's why when you enter the marriage, everyone will just be doing you like Z-World. You'll be expecting someone to come and be giving you breakfast in bed. And be doing, ah, it's content. Learn to separate this content from real life. In real life, marriage is work. You go wake up, take care of your husband, and take care of your colleagues. You will take care of everybody. So if you don't say you don't get power for marriage, rest for your papa house. It's as simple as ABC. So women, it's time for you to go communicate with your man what you need him to do for you. And the first communication I want you to start with, teach him where to touch you. Sex is very essential in relationship and marriage. No matter how you guys want to pretend in public, teach him how to fuck you. A woman that is well fucked and has gotten to orgasm, we submit her life to you. 
trust in you guys. I love you guys. See you guys some other time.